Welcome to McGregor Point Provincial Park. This has been our go-to park for many, 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 many years. And we are on round three of our park review for here. We are Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season five of our park reviews. We hope this helps you in deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Now, now let's, let's go camping, camping with, with the Coles. We only get one life, I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. This is a beautiful park. We're gonna explore it all, show you the best parts of the park. <laughs> And this is one of those parts right now. We're at Sunset Point, just waiting for that moment for the sun to get to the perfect spot. McGregor Point Provincial Park is classified as a natural environment park in the southwest and central region near the town of Port Elgin. It is on a seven kilometer stretch of coast on Lake Huron. Look at that sky, that's where we're heading. Yeah, it's gonna be ugly, man. Oh, it's nice and sunny at home, but McGregor Point does not look promising for weather. <laughs> Okay, so we're at three kilometers from the park. We're on County Road 11. Um, we're coming up to the hill that Cheryl loves. I don't. It, as you're approaching the, we're about to go downhill and as you're approaching it, um, it looks like you're about to go off the edge of a cliff because uh, you can't see the other side. I feel sick. And it gets her every time. Every time. I mean, for the last 20 years, it's gotten her the same, and we've had the same reaction every time. You, and that's why I love coming this way. Avoid it. Oh, I know. Uh, Android Auto tells you not to go this way. For that reason. But I go this way just because I love doing this every time. Oh, gosh, Cheryl, look at Look up ahead. It looks like we're about to go over the edge. Oh, I'm going to be sick. Uh, oh, I boy. Feel it already. Oh, I don't think this camera's on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it says 14% grade. Oh, we're about to go over the edge. We're about to go over the edge. Oh my God, look, Cheryl, look, look. Ah! <laughs> Jax isn't even moving. No. Oh, man. How was that? I just don't like it. How does it not get you? We're filling up at the water fill station. We've been coming to this park for years. We didn't know that they put a brand new water fill station in. Not sure how long it's been open, but I'm very pleasantly surprised. As Soon as you turn into the park, you take the road to the right and there's four water fill stations there. Two on each side. The one, the front left side uh, is not threaded. The rest are threaded. It has a lot of water pressure here. It's gonna fill up this tank real fast. I like it, nice pull through. And this is us, site number 47, Algonquin Campground, Birch Boulevard. This is a nice big site. It's a pull through. It's not like a lot of pull throughs that are very open and everybody's lined up, you know, at an angle to each other. This just is a little uh, U-shaped driveway into your site. Then you've got the big open site area, tons of privacy. Between the road and the trailer is a little bush area. And then we are just looking right into woods. We can't see another campsite from our campsite. McGregor Point has a lot of sites just like this. There are three main campgrounds with a total of 333 campsites. Algonquin Campground has 118 electric sites and no non-electric sites. Ash Woods has 42 electric sites. Cedar Lane has 43 electric sites. Birch Boulevard has 33 electric sites. There are 10 barrier-free cabins that can each accommodate up to five people and six barrier-free yurts that can each accommodate up to six people. Sites one and 91 are barrier-free. 
Nipissing Campground has 68 electric sites and 34 non-electric sites. Deer Drive has 34 non-electric sites. Foxway has 34 electric sites. Egret Circle, 34 electric sites. Huron Campground has 36 electric sites and 77 non-electric sites. It is radio and generator free. Grouse Landing has 34 non-electric sites. Iris Grove has 36 electric sites. Hawk Ridge has 43 non-electric sites. There is group camping area called Juniper Woods consisting of a walk-in group site that is tent only and a drive-in group site that can handle small trailers. There is a day use area. There are two pet exercise areas, one on the shore at the day use area and one on the shore at Huron Campground. There is a comfort station with flush toilets and showers in Huron Campground. There are two comfort stations with flush toilets, showers, and laundry facilities in Nipissing Campground, and three comfort stations with flush toilets, showers, and laundry facilities in Algonquin Campground. There is a comfort station with flush toilets only in the day use area. There's a small sandy beach for swimming called Campers Beach. There are three children's playgrounds, one in Huron Campground, one in Algonquin Campground, and one at the Campers Beach. There is a barrier-free visitor center, which also houses the Huron Fringe gift shop operated by the Friends of McGregor Point. There's a barrier-free park store for firewood, ice, camping supplies, groceries, gifts, souvenirs, snacks, ice cream, and bike rentals. There's a barrier-free amphitheater next to the visitor center. There are six trails in the park. The Deer Run Bike Trail is a 3.7 kilometer multi-use trail that travels throughout the park. It is rated as easy. The Old Shore Trail is a 6 km linear multi-use trail that follows the Lake Huron shoreline. It is rated as easy. The Tower Trail is a 3.5 km loop multi-use trail that is rated as easy. The Kemp's Trail is a 0.8 km linear multi-use trail rated as easy. The Huron Fringe Trail is a 1.2 km loop hiking only trail that circles the visitor center. It is rated as easy and is accessible. The Lake Ridge Trail is a 4 km loop hiking trail only. It is rated as moderate. Let's go check out the campsites! This is our very first site we ever had that was electric. We were still tenting then and I had no idea why we would want an electric site. This is a lovely site and I love all the birch trees. Birch trees are wonderful. This is a typical pull through site at McGregor. These sites are amazing. Pull in all the way back there and here's your pull through driveway and you come out there. As you can see, there's greenery behind. So when you are in your pull through site, you still have privacy and then you still have the whole campsite uh, in front of your trailer. McGregor Point is uh, one of the few parks that have sites like this and I really like them. A lot of privacy and big. One unusual thing that they have in McGregor are double sites. This is site 195 and 196 in Nipissing Campground. The yurts can accommodate up to six people. There's double bunks on the bottom, single on the top. There's a table and four chairs and a shelving unit. Um, there's a gas heater with electric fireplace. It comes with a gas barbecue, uh, prep uh, shelving station, training table, and fire pit. There are two group campsites, 501 and 502. They're pretty similar. They both have a center area with fire pit and picnic tables for group gatherings and each individual site approximately six around the outer circle. Um, they come with a picnic table as well. There is a water tap and vault toilets at both. The only difference is 501 you can drive in small trailers and tents, whereas 502 it's just walk in with tents.
There are two dog beaches here. This one is at the end of Huron Campground and it's a very rocky beach. And the other one is in the day use area, which is really nice sand. Both of them are on leash dog beaches, but you're permitted to have your dog off leash when they're swimming in the water. It's Cheryl's Lou Review, Lou Review, let's all talk about Lou's. Don't ask Ben, don't ask Jack, ask Cheryl, Cheryl's Lou Review. So the vault toilets at McGregor Point are all uh, pit toilets, which is a hole in the ground. But what I like about these ones is they're all cinder block with steel doors. They're a little bit more spacious inside. They do have soap, water, some of them have mirrors and trash cans um, and some solar lights inside. In the event of a storm though, these are the safe places to come. So even though they are a little bit stinky, they are safe to come into. They're freshly painted so they look brighter and cleaner. Um, even though they do smell a bit, which most pit toilets do anyways, I'm gonna give them a flower. So reception here for Kudo, Telus, Bell and Virgin Mobile. Not all that great. Get some dropped phone calls. For the most part, you can do some internet surfing, but I uh, wouldn't be relying on it for uh, FaceTime or anything like that. I was able to do a little bit of video viewing, but it did a fair bit of buffering. Four of the six trails in this park are multi-use, which means you can uh, walk them or cycle them. The Deer Run Trail is an excellent trail for cycling around the park. It'll take you to all the campgrounds, the uh, store, beaches. Um, it's a great trail to take, great for the whole family. We've been coming here for over 30 years and this old cabin has been abandoned that entire time. So every year we come back and just keep watching it deteriorate more and more. But it is interesting to see, kids really like seeing, seeing it. Uh, you can see it was made very well, good construction for a log cabin because the outside of it is actually in pretty good shape. 
And if you're trying to find this cabin, if you come down Kemp's Trail to the Old Shore Trail, turn left onto the Old Shore Trail, and then you'll see a little path to the right that leads into this. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's pretty cool to check out. Like Another good thing about this park is the great signage they have. For example, give you arrows in every direction. And there's the map right there. McGregor Point is home to the first designated forest therapy trail in Ontario Parks. It consists of a self-guided walk with placards, inviting you to explore a deeper connection with nature and yourself. This is a collaboration between Ontario Parks, the Global Institute of Forest Therapy and Nature Connection, and donors who made this project possible. Forest therapy can boost your immune system, lower blood pressure, improve heart rate variability, stabilize mood, reduce stress, and improve sleep. So enjoy this beautiful trail and reap the benefits. What? You've never been to McGregor Point Provincial Park before? We're with our friends, Ingrid and Steve and Lila and Celia. Yeah. Say hello. Hi. 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 And there's Miss Bean. <laughs> hello. <laughs> there's one dump station. It has two dump spots and two water fill stops. As well, there's the uh, four new water fill stops at the entrance to the park. Uh, this is more into the park. The dump and the fill on the left side are not threaded. The dump and the fill on the right side are both threaded. Sixteen kilometers north of the park is the Southampton Market. You will find lots and lots of merchandise here. Great for the whole family. Come on out and have fun. few options for beaches when you come to McGregor Point. You can go for a little drive, hit the Port Elgin Beach, or here at the Southampton Beach. In our last park review of McGregor Point from season two, I filmed from the same location and all of this was under construction and the water was real high so the beach was gone. Well, the beach is back. That is great to see. The construction's done. The pier is done. We're gonna go for a walk out on the pier. We always like going and doing that. And uh, it looks like that they are back to having the Wednesday markets. COVID's over. Uh, we're not here on Wednesday, unfortunately. I always like going to the Wednesday market, which is right on the beach here.
This brake wall has all been rebuilt since the last time we were able to walk on it. Last time it was really falling apart. They really needed to do this. Did a great job on it. It's very nice. made it to Sunset Point. Well, time again for Cole's Notes for McGregor Point Provincial Park. Here we are at our home sweet home, park we've been coming to for years and years and years. Yeah, it's really nice coming to this park. It feels like home to us. Yeah, there's so much to do at this park. Um, a lot of people always ask, is it best to bring um, water, stand up paddle boards, canoes, kayaks, or bikes? For this park, probably bikes, if you're going to bring one thing or the other, because there's a lot of great trails, multi-purpose trails, hiking trails. Um, whereas Lake Huron tends to get choppy at times. So it's kind of unpredictable, so. Yeah, but you can get around anywhere on your bicycles here. It's a great park for that. Plus there's a great trail that goes into Port Elgin as well for the avid cyclists. You can do that as well. Yeah, I think it's about four kilometers to get from the park here into Port Elgin. Lots of things to do in Port Elgin. That's right. Sites at McGregor are great. They're well-treated, private, I like the layout of the park. There's good signage. Um, the sites are in loops and the comfort station is in the middle, so you don't get lost. Yeah, they got a ton of comfort <laughs> stations and vault toilets and everything. Yes. Um, the park is just set up really well, like Cheryl said, and, and the sites, uh, so many pull-through sites and you get three sides of privacy and different from most pull-through sites, you still have some uh, trees between the uh, backside of your trailer and the road. So you get privacy that way too. So it's really nice. We, uh, we really like how they did this park, how they laid it out. And we're quite excited to see when we got in. I don't know if excited is the word, but the new uh, water fill station. Yes, so don't drive too fast when you enter because it's just off to the right. Yeah, immediately to your right when you pull in four taps, so fill up right away. Yeah, because if you miss that, you're gonna be going to the dump station where there's two fill up spots there. And if two people are dumping, you're waiting in line. You can't bypass them to get to the mm -hmm. fill station. So this is its de own dedicated fill station. It's awesome to use that, no waiting. Um, now the next thing for them to do is to improve their dump station. Like every other park. Yeah, what would be nice is get rid of those two fill spots at the dump station and put it two more dump spots. Then you get four dump spots. That would be that would be real nice. And maybe upgrade a little bit and allow bypass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's great for the dogs. It's pet friendly here. There's two uh, dog beach areas. Um, the day use one I like a lot because it's sandy. Yes, and then there's the rocky beach too. But. That's just as fun. <laughs> dogs, dogs don't care. <laughs> um, lots to do for the kids at the visitor center, lots of programs. Um, it's really a family friendly park. It, yeah, it's, it really is. It's a real family park and that's why we've been coming here so long bringing up our family here. Mm -hmm. There's lots to do outside the park as well. We used to take our kids into Southampton, um, Sawell Falls. Port Elgin. Port Elgin. They've got a great beach. It's finished. Um, they were doing construction over the past few years and that's looking really good now. Oh, we, we, so we have done this park before, as, as you probably know. Twice before. Yeah. Season one, we did it in the fall. And then I thought we should try to do a, a summer review of it. So we did it in the summer of season two. Mm -hmm. And this is actually our third review of it. We've never done that for a park before, but we felt that uh, it needed to be updated. Um, and we needed to give this park everything it, it deserves. So we wanted to do this mm -hmm. one. So we probably won't do a review of it for, for a while now, but we were happy to come here again, see the updates that they've done and just visit home pretty much. 
Yes. And Jax, you give it a paw up. He gives it all four paws up. All four paws he up. He loved it. He's exhausted. Yeah, he had All the really hiking much and fun. swimming. It was great. Yeah. I don't think he's been, ever been as tired at any nope. other park. Well, so, he's only been to a few, but. Yeah. So for a rating now? Um, I'd give it an eight and a half. Eight and a half? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like, for the fact that we we like to do kayaking and stuff and like right in the park there's not a lot right. you can do because I mean the water can change from minute to minute. You could go to the Saugeen River yeah. which is only a few kilometers outside of the park but mm -hmm. in the park there is yeah. there's really nothing that you do for uh, for water sports other than the beach and playing around there. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah I guess eight and a half is what it is. Eight, eight and, and a half. half. All right, what's next, happening next? We go on our two week, another two week adventure. Our five parks? Yeah, five parks, northerner, northerner parks. And what are we doing? We are doing Six Mile Lake. Six Mile Lake, Driftwood, Sammy D, Mikasu, and Osler. That's what we're doing? Yes. We've been to Mikasu once before, but it was for a very quick stopover. It was just two nights. So that's why we're repeating that one as we well. Definitely wanted to go back to that one. And all the rest? We haven't new done reviews us. of, they're all new to us. Mm -hmm. So to it. yeah, we're really looking forward to that. That'll be an exciting time and I hope you join us for that. For now, happy camping and we'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.